Hello and welcome to an Automation Professionals tutorial. My name's Dave and I'm the lead programmer. Today we're going to talk about push notification settings for your Crestron system which will allow you to get notifications from your house when certain events happen. To find the settings, click the home button on the bottom left of your screen and navigate to the settings page. At the top navigation you will see a notifications tab which will take you to the push notification settings page. Note that if we haven't set up a Prowl or If Then Then That account, you will not see this option until we have done so. On the top left, you will see the icons that will indicate what services we have enabled for your system. Prowl is the application we use for iOS devices, and If Then Then That is what we use for Android devices. If Then Then That can also be used for iOS, however Prowl is a nicer application to deal with for notifications. The left menu will show what options are available for your system. If you click an entry, it will show you some specific options on what you can be notified on for each section. On the right of each entry, you will see the current section's global state and by clicking it, you can toggle it on and off. The top entry will globally disable all notifications for the system. The global notification section will allow you to be notified when your house goes vacant, goes to sleep or becomes occupied. Note that depending on what is tied into your system you may not have anything to reliably determine the state of your house. There is more detail in my house actions video. First we'll start off at the bottom of the list since this is where the most useful notifications are. The lock section allows you to be notified whenever a lock is locked, unlocked or an alarm which will also contain the detail of the alarm such as low battery or deadbolt being jammed. The security system section will allow you to be notified when the alarm is armed, disarmed or an alarm. The audio video section will allow you to be notified when a room is turned on or off which seems impractical, however it can be used in some clever situations, like when your kid is supposed to be going to bed or doing homework and now you can be notified when they turn on their TV. You can also turn on the alarm notification which will simply send you a notification if your morning alarm is going off. And lastly, if you have a Crestron remote in your room, you can be notified if the battery is low. The lighting section will allow you to be notified when scheduler events, such as front yard lights turning on, trigger. For each room, you can also have it notify you when the lights are turned on or off, which once again, you can come up with some clever scenarios where this can be useful. And lastly, if there are occupancy sensors present in a room, you can be notified when the room is vacant and then not vacant. The shade notifications will allow you to be notified when a room has opened or closed their shades and if someone is trying to adjust the shade limits. The thermostat section will allow you to be notified when a thermostat has gone into heat, cool, auto or off mode and if it's a wireless Crestron thermostat then you can be notified if the battery is low which should only be applicable if there's insufficient wiring to the thermostat. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and feel free to check out my other tutorials that will be popping up over time as well as some other cool videos I'll be posting in the near future. If you are interested in licensing out my program and modules, contact me with the email address on the screen for information.